What's good? It's your boy for nine. All right, man. I'm gonna come with somber tone, man, because honestly, I I think I think I'm done, man. I'm not gonna be done talking about it, but just because, hey, man, I'm a boxing channel. I'm gonna talk about the news as it comes up and get my thoughts on it. That's what we do. That's how we raise money for the for the cause that we support. But I gotta tell you, man, that I'm I feel that somebody that I like is really going to disappoint me. And that's Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, I saw, shout out to my man, uh, Trap House Boxing, shout out to my man, uh, Ticket TV. I saw where they made some reports about something Anthony Joshua said, but I had held off when I saw the tweet. Also, shout out to Michael Benson. I held off on the tweet and the stuff that came out until I listened to what Anthony Joshua said himself. And I got to tell you, man, as far as this Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight goes, Anthony Joshua seems scared. Honestly, man, this, this, uh, listening to the way he, he sounds and what he says, he sounds like he doesn't have any confidence that he can beat Deontay Wilder. I'm just telling you straight as I, as I see it. And what he said about him feeling confident, he said with his mouth that he was confident the Deontay Wilder fight would happen. But with his eyes and with his body, he looked far from it. And when he said, well, I'll tell you, I'm not going to sell my soul for $50 million. And then he asked, he asked the guy from IFL TV, if he had heard from Wilder. And I thought to myself, why in the world would you ask a reporter from IFL TV if he had heard from Deontay Wilder? Why would the IFL TV guy have heard from Deontay Wilder and you not have heard from Deontay Wilder? That was warning. That was, that was what really put it over the edge for me. But the just... He said he's really confident the fight happens, but honestly, man, he sounds like a he, he sounds like a woman that got asked on a date, and they say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we, we you know, yeah, eventually we can do it, but you know, um, I got a few things to do this weekend and next weekend, but maybe you know after that, yeah, you know, it sounds like a really good idea. It sounds like a passive aggressive no, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but more important. I don't think he can beat Deontay Wilder. If for some reason this fight makes happens, I think Deontay Wilder is going to is going to knock this guy out in 4 or 5 rounds. Just based off his body language and the way that he said that he's not going to sell his soul for 50 million dollars. Now I'm definitely going to do a live stream before that. We got fights coming up this this evening. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Cecilia Brockus break his fight. Not really caring too much about the Gennady Golovkin versus Vanis Martirosin fight. But hey, like I said, it's a boxing channel. And what we do on this boxing channel is we're raising money for kids uh, that want to go to college. Uh, and sports is their mechanism by which they should they can they can pay for it. So we take funds that are raised on this channel and it goes towards uh, working with them, getting them the things that they need to try to get them there. So, you know, I'll continue. I will talk about it. I will watch the Gennady Golovkin fight, but, you know, whatever, really. Because it's just going to be a way for somebody to try to justify or claim that he beat Bernard Hopkins or he tied Bernard Hopkins' middleweight defense record, which is just, I, I see it coming at the end of the night. I'm sure Jim Lampley's going to say it. I'm sure that Max Kellerman's going to say it. And nobody's going to correct him and tell him that, Hey, you know, the WBA belt, the WBA regular belt does, is not a major championship belt. That's a mandatory belt. That's a belt that puts you in position to be able to fight for a championship. But hey, they'll go ahead and act like it's like that's the case. And like a true boxing fan, boxing addict in a lot of ways, I'll watch it and, you know, hey, Cecilia Brockus is fighting, so I'm happy. But anyway, thank. hopefully you guys will attend the live stream I do before that fight. And thank you so much to the guy, to the people that, that donate to the Super Chat and the Venmo. 
and the uh and the patron and the Patreon patrons. Thank you, thank you very much. Now on to Anthony Joshua. I don't think a fighter has ever disappointed me more than Anthony Joshua. And I don't care about there will be UK channels, of course, you know, hey, I hear. I've been a subscriber to UK channels for years. Years. And when I mean years, like, I was one of the first 100 subscribers of many of these channels. Some of these channels have 30,000 subscribers, and I was one of their first 100. I've been on YouTube Boxing for years. As a as a commentator, commenter, and as a subscriber that sits by, back and make sure, and I make sure for you UK channels, when you want to crap on me, that I watch your ads. Because I've supported you. But at this point in time, there's no supporting Anthony Joshua. There's no supporting, there's no supporting Eddie Hearn. I tried for several videos not to say anything negative about Anthony Joshua because I hadn't heard anything that Anthony Joshua had said. But I know perfectly well that Anthony Joshua sat up there smug as he could be. Smug as he could be. And said, well, if you think this is a hundred million dollar fight, Offer me $50 million and I'll sign the contract tomorrow. And what does he say today after the Tony Bellew win over David Hay? He says, well, I'm not going to sell my soul for $50 million. I'll tell you that much. I'm confident that it's going to happen. But I'm not going to sell my soul for $50 million. Smug as he could be, he sat in a chair with his same little white collar shirt. You know, same little white collar shirt. I think he has the ones with the buttons, you know, where you button down your collar. Not the, you know, not the not the ones where, you know, the butt where the where your collar is kind of free, but the button ones, you know, super nerd. Shit cat stopped wearing. Maybe they wear it in the UK, I don't know, but whatever. In his white you know, I'm a businessman shirt. I'm a businessman shirt. And said, smug as he could be. Well, if you think this is a $100 million fight, then offer me $50 million and I'll sign that contract tomorrow. Bloop! They offered you $50 million. And as of yesterday, Eddie Hearn said that he doesn't need proof of the funds. They never asked for it. Lying like a rug. But hell, that's Eddie Hearn. So let's just go with that lie and roll on with it and say that they never asked it. But since they never asked for it, then proof of funds isn't an issue. And since it's not an issue, you got your $50 million guaranteed. And you got it a week ago, at least. And what did you say today? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to sell my soul for $50 million. UK channels that want to insinuate that people that from the United States, who you do respectfully enough, leave nameless, right? You don't say the names of the people that you're saying have the intellects of 12 year olds. But. I'll assume that you're talking about me and saying that I have an intellect of a 12 year old. Did this, you know what 12 year olds can do? There's some 12 year olds that can do geometry. There are 12 year olds who can tell the difference between the truth and a lie. There are plenty of 12 year olds that can rep, that, that can recognize a hypocrite and a liar, a contradicting self fulfilled 
smug jackasses that say, if you show me the $50 million, I'll sign tomorrow. That's what he said. He got the $50 million offer. And even if you say, and I'm, I know I'm not that smart, you know, I've got the brain of a 12 year old, but my 12 year old brain tells me that Anthony Joshua said that because 12 year olds know how to go to YouTube and 12 year olds know how to search Anthony Joshua $50 million offer. Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight. Anthony Joshua interview IFL TV. 12 year olds can do that. And me having the intellect of a 12 year old, I did that. And I went to a video with my 12 year old mind and heard Anthony Joshua say, smug as he could come off as, if you offer me $50 million, I will accept tomorrow. And then I went with my 12 year old mind to Deontay Wilder, where Deontay, a video that said, Deontay Wilder, let me make sure, because I'm only 12, you know, I'm not that smart. You know, I got like an 82 IQ. So, you know, I had to type it a couple times. I had to, I had to type it out a couple times. You know, I couldn't spell it right the first two, three times. But eventually I got there, you know, because I'm a 12 year old, but you know, like many 12 year olds, they can write, they can read, they can read entire books at 12 years old. You know, me with the 12 year old intellect. I went and I heard Deontay Wilder say, I, the money's in the bag. Now I expect you're a man of your word and you're going to accept. I expect you're a man of your word. And you're going to accept. I'm not that smart, but I think that's Deontay Wilder counter responding to a request that came from Anthony Joshua. I know I'm slow. And just so you uh, just so you know that I verified that I verified this with another 12 year old. I took my 12 year old son and had my 12 year old son listen to the video. And I said, son, I, I'm not very smart, but are you 12 years old? Yes, dad. Yes, dad. I'm 12 years old. Okay. I'm going to hit play, son. Uh, did you just hear Anthony Joshua say that if they offered him $50 million, that he would sign tomorrow? And my son said, yes, dad. Yes. Yes, dad. He did. He did. Oh, uh, son, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not very bright. Are you 12 years old? Yes, I'm 12 years old. I'm 12 years old. But did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. What did you hear? I heard him say that he would sign tomorrow if he got $50 million guaranteed. But dad, I know you're slow. He said up front. You're saying guaranteed, dad. He said up front. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do you think about that 12-year-old son? Well, I think he really meant guaranteed. I don't think he meant up front because that means he would have paid the money before the fight happened. But he means guaranteed. Oh, thank you, son. I had the conversation with a 12-year-old just to make sure when somebody watched this video and said that I got an intellect of a 12-year-old that I double-checked with the, with a the 12-year-old. Just fortunate enough for me, I've got a 12-year-old son so I can check it out real easy. And then I said, son, listen to what Anthony Joshua just said. And I hit play. It's on IFL TV. Like I said, I misspelled it two or three times because... I'm not that smart, but I said, did Anthony Joshua just say that he's not going to sell his soul for $50 million? And my son said, yes, yes, he did say that. Does that mean that, cause I'm not that smart. Cause I'm only 12. My mind's only of a 12 year old and you're 12 and a half. You know, you'll be 13 in about five months. Is there any type of issue between those two? Well, yes, dad. On one, he said he signed tomorrow. What's the date? Is it tomorrow? Did that have do that? No, no, that interview is a week old, Dad. So did he sign tomorrow? <laughs> no, 
No, he didn't, Dad. Now, when he said he's confident that it happened, is that the same thing as saying the fight is going to happen because I signed? Because I got $50 million? No, it's not, Dad. No, it's not. Oh. But what did he say about the $50 million? He said he's not going to sell his soul for $50 million. Son, does that mean there's a chance that he might not take $50 million? Yes, Dad. He might not take $50 million, but hold on. I'm confused because I'm not that smart. I have the brain of a 12 year old, but he said over here that if he got a $50 million offer, he would sign tomorrow. But now he's saying that he's not going to sell his soul for $50 million. I'm, I'm confused, son. Do you think that he really believes that Anthony Josh, that Deontay, do you think, son, that Deontay Wilder asked him to literally sell his soul? That he wants him to, to give him his soul like a Harry Potter, like a Harry Potter movie? He wants to make a horcrux and split it up and put his soul in a little vase? No, dad. No, dad. What he really means is that he's not going to sign the contract if he doesn't like it. That's probably what he meant. You know what I mean? He was just being, you know, he was just being colorful when he said sell his soul for $50 million. But since selling in order to buy, interestingly enough, dad, because, you know, at 12 years old, I read Faust. And there's this book called Faust. There's a play. Actually, it's a play called Faust where Faust, the devil, Faust sells his soul to the devil. But it's a contract. So right here, he's referring to a contract, dad. My 12-year-old son. So anyway, all fun and games aside, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn are both full of it. And they're both (laughs) not worth doo-doo. Their word is worth doo-doo. Do that's what us 12 year old that's us people with the 12 year old intellects that's what we think of people who are liar liar plant pants on fire hang your pants from a telephone wire liar liar pants on fire hang your pants from a telephone wire that's what us 12 year olds call people who say one day we need to see proof of funds of the 50 million dollars and then when they get then when there's a report that there's proof of $50 million, they turn around and say, we never asked for it. Even though there he's on a video saying, specifically saying, hey, let's see a contract and proof of funds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Proof of funds came out of the mouth of Eddie Hearn. But then... When there's a report that they got the proof of funds, he turns around and says, we never asked for it. Now, I'm not that smart. You know, I did graduate from law school and I did um, have written several hundred contracts. And the last time I checked, when somebody says, uh, duh, I never said it. When they say one thing and then turn around, say something is directly contradictory to what they just said, that's called a lie or terrible memory, one or the other. But either one or the other has to be wrong. Same thing applies to Anthony Joshua. Either he was going to sign the $50 million contract the next day or He's not going to sell his soul for $50 million or rephrase either. He's going to, if you give me $50 million and he said $50 million, he said it just like Eddie Hearn was the one he asked for proof of funds. Anthony Joshua said, if you sell, give me off $50 million guaranteed, I'll sign the contract tomorrow. He didn't say, unless I don't like the contract. He didn't say, if you give me $20 million, if you give me $50 million guaranteed, there's some, there's a few scenarios there where I won't sign the contract. He said he did it unequivocally. 
He did not equivocate. He did not give conditions. He didn't give certain circumstances which needed to be in place for him to accept the $50 million. What he did is he was smug and arrogant and thought that somebody wouldn't come and call him on his bullshit. And now he's asking a reporter if they had heard from Deontay Wilder as if he even expected an answer. That's your boy. And I didn't make him say that. I didn't make him ask for $50 million and I didn't make him say the bull crap he just said. He did it of his own volition. At least that's what my 12-year-old intellect tells me. And I'm out.